if we could just get your inside view, what it's been like uh, being with LeBron as a teammate for these years, and you know how you've seen that that path kind of culminate for him tonight, passing Kareem. Uh, it's been great. Um, he's been a, a big part of um, our team's success, a big part of um, my success. Um, you know, leader. Uh, you know, in all kind of ways, all kind of facets of the game, on and off the floor. Um, you know, great human being, family guy, uh, check all the boxes. Um, you know, definitely well deserved. Um, you know, he put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this game. Um, so I'm just honored, honored to be able to, you know, witness it live. Pity, obviously, the what happened on the court um, outside of the, the scoring tonight is weighing heavily on you guys. In your opinion, what are the biggest things that need to change here over this final stretch for you guys to be the team that um, I don't, the team that you want you want to be? Win games. Simple. Um, you know they shot shot the ball extremely well, but uh, that was our. You know, coverages. Um, you know, them guys make shots. Pass off to them, tough shots, and you just got to win games. It's very simple. Um, AD, shifting back to LeBron for a second. Um, what you kind of see anything different out of his preparation or some of the early action, and, and what was the sort of moment that maybe you saw it kind of come on for him that you felt like? Okay, he, he's going after this record tonight. He's going to get there. Um, I'm not sure if anything was different in his preparation. I don't really see him before the game. We're kind of doing our own thing, but uh, you know, obviously it's a it's a big moment. You know, 36 points is not really a lot for a guy like him who can score the basketball. Um, and he got going early. You know, got to the to the uh, to the to the rim. Got some layups. Couple of dunks, three balls all working. Got to the line, um, so uh, I knew when. He, I think when he only had like 16 points or 18 points left uh, in the second half, I'm pretty and, sure he's gonna get it. And then you've seen him do this over and over: the turnaround fadeaway jumper on Kenrich. Um, did you kind of sense that coming when you saw the one-on-one -on -one matchup? Did you feel like that move specifically might be the one that that pushed him over the top? Uh, not sure. I mean, he has a array of moves, so he could have got to the basket, could have stepped back, you know, turned around. He usually does it on the on the baseline, uh, left block specifically. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a shot that you know he he, he always takes and makes more times than he misses. Yeah. yeah. How emotional the evening was it for you and your teammates? Getting ready to go out, knowing that he's getting ready to become the all-time leading scorer. Um, I don't think it was emotional for us. Uh, you know, we tried our best to go out and just play the game of basketball. Um, obviously, when it happened, um, a lot of emotions. You know, for Bron, for our organization, for our team, for the fans, um, for the world. You know, so uh, I think the emotions kind of, you know, kicked in then where, you know, it happened. Everybody was just very celebratory of the, of the situation, but. Uh, before the game coming in, um, you know, we want to treat it as much as a normal game as possible. ED, when you say normal game, this is a franchise that is so rich in its basketball history with so many great moments. What was it like for you being a part of it, not just when it happened, but felt like an NBA Finals game? Uh, could you describe what that like? And what uh, it was a great feeling, a great moment. Like I say, you know, well deserved to a guy who's put so much work into the game. Um, on and off the floor. I mean, he does so much for for the game of basketball off the floor, and obviously, you know, his his numbers and uh, his accolades individually it speaks for itself on the floor. So, um, it's a real moment. You know, everybody was definitely happy for him, and um, Staples was packed. I mean, Staples, Crypto um, was packed tonight. You know, it looked like it, it did pre-COVID. So, um, you know, it was good that. You know, 20,000 plus was able to witness that, and you know, um, us as a as a team was able to witness that as well. Have time for two more.